It was the first time he, he and I had ever wrote together, and we sat down, and he asked me, he said, well, what do you have in mind? Like, what do you got? And so I threw out a couple ideas, and Dave is really nice about not being like, well, that idea sucks. He'd just be like, he'd be like, <laughs> okay, all right, well, what else you got, you know? And so uh, when I had exhausted all my ideas, I said, well, I've got this one line that I can't get out of my head and it's, I can see the thunder and hear the dark. And I was just in this place where, you know, you get in this dark enough place where you can feel it, you can, th you know, you've heard it, you can cut through it like a knife. And so I was just sitting there, I was like, I can see the thunder and hear the dark. And I was like, well, that's really dark and morbid, but man, I like it, like it's just something yeah. about it. He had the one line and, and I don't even think he was really thinking about what he was playing, mm -hmm. you know, just most guitar players naturally pick up a guitar and and just while they're talking, they noodle around and he was doing this. And I'm like, yeah, that's, that sounds pretty cool. <laughs> and Dave goes, hold on a second. He goes, keep playing that, keep playing. And he goes, plain to see I'm better off without you. And I said, where did you come up with that? And he goes, I don't know. And then the, the whole song just came together. Yeah. After that, I mean, it was, it was unreal. Plain to see I'm better off without you. tell when there's some there's some mojo in the air and just we were certainly given that little Absolutely. bit of magic because man the, the words just started flowing the chorus words started popping into my head and and he liked it and definitely the title and that rhythm of the dun 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 once he started coming up with the words I just held on it's it's a great song but it's also the way that Jake sings. I mean, I could have been writing with somebody else and that that thing wouldn't have worked, but, uh, you know, the key and everything just really worked with, with how Jake sings. Man, this loneliness is tearing me apart. Wonder what's holding together this broken heart. We, we sat back from our guitar and just said, how do you get to a place like that? For me, like, you know, it was a place of, you know, being by myself, you know, and man, this loneliness is tearing me apart. You know, I wonder what's holding together this broken heart. Like you just, we had to step back, like a lyric is cool, but you gotta figure out how to paint that picture around that lyric. The first verse is where you're at. You know, it's like, okay, this is how I got here. This is where I'm at. Um, and then the second verse, we, we waited till the bridge to build up to, you know, now the dust has settled, it's plain to see, you know, and so like now, once you calm down, but you're still in that dark place, like, you know, you're looking at things more logical and you're kind of seeing where the trends were going, but you were too blinded, I guess, to see them or stuff like that. Mm -hmm. um, looking back over all the things that went wrong and uh, time's gone by and you're looking back and seeing that it wasn't what you thought it was. Now the dust has settled, it's clear to me. Things were drinks more coffee than I think I've met, of anybody I've ever met. And so he goes, I'm gonna go get a cup of coffee. I said, all right, and so I'm sitting out there and then he comes out and sings the first half of the bridge. And I was like, did you go get coffee or did you go in there to finish the song? You know, so. That's why I drink a lot of coffee. It's, it's the walk from outside into the coffee pot that strikes some things. 